Imagine waking up in a world where the fundamental laws of physics have taken a peculiar turn. Imagine the disorienting sensation of seeing your reflection lag behind your movements in the mirror. It's a subtle but unsettling difference, a constant reminder that something is fundamentally amiss. You wave, a simple instinctive gesture, but your reflection responds a noticeable second later. The delay is palpable, a tangible representation of the altered reality. It's like living in a world with a built-in delay, where time itself seems to stutter and skip. Every action, every reaction, is just a fraction of a second out of sync. In this universe, the speed of light, the ultimate cosmic speed limit, has been drastically reduced. What was once instantaneous is now a crawl. Every action you see, every event you witness, is already in the past, a historical record playing out in slow motion before your very eyes. The present is elusive, always just out of reach. Conversations are awkward, stilted affairs. Your friend's smile appears seconds after your joke lands, the punchline hanging in the air long before the reaction arrives. The sound of laughter, a joyous and spontaneous expression, arrives before their face changes, creating a bizarre disconnect between sound and sight. Every interaction, from a simple handshake to a complex negotiation, is filtered through a strange and unsettling delay altering the very fabric of social exchange. You switch on a lamp, and the room stays dark for a disconcerting moment, suspended in shadow, before the light finally fills it, a slow and deliberate dawn. Drop a glass, and you hear the shatter, the sharp, brittle sound of destruction, before you see the pieces scattered across the floor. Our senses are out of sync, creating a cacophony of conflicting information, and our brains struggle to make sense of reality desperately trying to reconcile the disparate signals flooding in from our eyes and ears. We'd live in a world of echoes, visual and auditory, where every sensation is followed by a ghostly afterimage or lingering sound. Human connection would change, becoming a delicate dance of anticipation and delayed gratification. We'd have to anticipate reactions, predict emotions, and learn to read the subtle cues that precede the delayed response, always living a moment behind, forever chasing the elusive present. The world would feel haunted by the immediate past, a constant reminder of what was, just moments ago. Even simple tasks, like boiling water or sending a text message, would become lessons in patience, tests of our ability to endure the agonizing delay. Our environment would feel unfamiliar, alien, as if we're always catching up, forever striving to bridge the gap between action and consequence. The very concept of now would blur, becoming a hazy, indistinct memory a fleeting moment forever receding into the past. Welcome to the slow light universe, a place where the familiar laws of physics have been twisted and contorted. Here, reality is always a step behind, a lagging echo of the events that have already transpired. Every glance is a glimpse into the past, a fleeting vision of what once was, but no longer is. The present is never quite what it seems, a distorted reflection of a reality that has already slipped away. In this world, the nature of now, is forever changed, transforming our understanding of time, space, and the very fabric of existence. The speed of light, that's approximately 300,000 kilometers per second. To put that into perspective, it's fast enough to circle the Earth more than seven times in a single second. It's a mind-boggling figure, a testament to the sheer velocity at which light propagates through the vast expanse of the cosmos. This incredible speed isn't just a number, it's the universe's ultimate speed limit, Nothing we know of can surpass it. It's a fundamental constant, a cosmic barrier that governs the interactions of everything from the smallest particles to the largest galaxies. It's the fastest anything can travel, a universal speed demon, if you will. Photons, the particles of light, zip through space at this breakneck pace, carrying energy and information across unimaginable distances. It's more than just a speed, it's the backbone of cause and effect. The order in which events occur, the very fabric of space-time, is intimately tied to the speed at which light propagates. Without it, our understanding of causality would crumble. It's elegantly represented by C in Einstein's famous equation, ELMC2, a cornerstone of modern physics. This simple symbol encapsulates a profound relationship between energy, mass, and the speed of light. It links energy, the fundamental currency of the universe, matter, the stuff that makes up everything we see and touch, space, the boundless arena in which the universe unfolds, and time, the relentless march forward. Because of C, flipping a light switch feels instant. 
the electricity races through the wires and the light floods the room almost instantaneously. And radio signals cross space in moments, allowing us to communicate across vast distances with satellites and probes exploring the outer reaches of our solar system. Light delivers everything we see, painting the world around us with vibrant colors and intricate details. From the moon's gentle glow, a reflected whisper of the sun's brilliance, to the sun's warmth, the life-giving energy that sustains our planet. But even now, we're always seeing the past, a delayed image of what once was. Light from the sun, for example, is over 8 minutes old by the time it reaches our eyes, having traveled across 150 million kilometers of space. The immense speed of light, while seemingly instantaneous in our daily lives, hides this time travel effect in daily life, masking the subtle delays that occur as light traverses even short distances. But it's crucial in astronomy, where we observe objects billions of light years away, peering into the distant past. Now imagine light crawling, inching along at a snail's pace. What if it only traveled at the speed of a race car, a mere 300 kilometers per hour? This change would rewrite the laws of physics as we know them, throwing our understanding of the universe into complete disarray. The value of C is intricately woven into electricity, dictating how charges interact and how currents flow. Magnetism, the force that aligns compass needles and powers electric motors, and gravity, the force that binds planets to stars and galaxies together. Lowering it would unravel our understanding of reality, leading to a cascade of bizarre and unpredictable consequences. Seeing would become a complex, delayed event, with images lagging behind reality. The universe's rhythm would slow to a crawl, with everything happening in slow motion. Every moment would be out of sync, a chaotic jumble of past, present, and future. Our window into the cosmos would shrink, limiting our ability to observe and understand the vast universe around us. The simple act of seeing would never be the same, forever altered by the sluggish pace of light. Imagine a world where light itself slows down, where the very fabric of time seems to stretch and distort. In such a reality, patience isn't just a virtue, it's a survival skill. It's about learning to anticipate the lag, to predict the delay, and to navigate a world that operates at a different pace. Playing catch? Your friend sees the ball leave your hand, not in real time, but only after a noticeable delay. The information, the light carrying the image, takes its sweet time to arrive. Hand-eye coordination as we know it would need a total overhaul. Our reflexes would become unreliable, our instincts misleading. Video calls already prone to their own digital delays and even simple phone conversations would be riddled with awkward pauses, silences stretching into uncomfortable eternities as you wait for the other person's response to finally register. Every chat would feel less like a real-time exchange and more like a turn-based game, each participant patiently awaiting their opportunity to contribute. Sports would be utter chaos, a ballet of misjudgments and mistimed reactions. Imagine outfielders reacting to the sound of the bat hitting the ball, not the sight of the ball itself, and runners hearing the starting pistol at drastically different times, turning every race into a comedy of errors. Even color and motion would warp, people running toward you would appear tinted blue, a constant reminder of their approaching velocity, while those running away would fade into a reddish hue. The Doppler effect, normally a subtle phenomenon, would become a dominant force, painting the world in constantly shifting colors, a living, breathing rainbow of velocity. Our senses would be constantly out of sync, creating a perpetual state of disorientation. Everyday life would feel like a glitchy video stream, forever buffering, forever struggling to catch up. We'd adapt, of course, humans are remarkably resilient, but nothing would ever feel immediate, nothing would ever feel quite right. The world would be a canvas of delays, a slow-motion masterpiece painted with the brushstrokes of lag and distortions, a constant reminder that what we perceive is not necessarily what is. Every action, every reaction, a cause rippling through a delayed effect, would be filtered through a thick layer of lag, a constant buffer between intention and outcome. Our perception of reality, already a construct of our brains, would be fundamentally altered, twisted and reshaped by the slow crawl of light. In this world, a world governed by delay, even a simple game of catch, a seemingly effortless act, becomes a profound lesson in the strange and wonderful physics that govern our universe. A slower speed of light would make relativity a daily experience, Jog down the street and time slows for you. Your watch ticks slower than your friends on the bench. You'd literally age more slowly just by moving. 
length contraction would be obvious. Fast cars look squashed, trains like pancakes. The world becomes a funhouse mirror, stretching and compressing with speed. To you, everything else looks warped. To others, you're the one who's distorted. There's no absolute now or length. It all depends on your motion. Relativity's weirdness would be visible everywhere. Everyday life would be a showcase of time dilation and length contraction. Sprinting could become a form of life extension. The universe would feel elastic, bending with every step. Our sense of reality would be constantly challenged. In the slow light universe, relativity is no longer abstract. It's in your face. The night sky would be almost empty. Light from distant galaxies would never reach us. Our cosmic horizon would shrink to nearby stars. The Milky Way's band would vanish, replaced by a sparse scattering of close neighbors. Stargazing would reveal a small, lonely universe. Stars themselves would look strange, moving stars would beam their light in odd directions, changing brightness dramatically. Supernovae would unfold in slow motion, their light crawling outward. You could watch the expanding shell of light as it moves through space. The universe would feel claustrophobic, its history hidden behind a wall of slow light. Our sense of cosmic wonder would be replaced by isolation. The sky would no longer tell the story of the universe, we'd be cut off from the vastness of space. In a slow light world, you always see the past. Wave to someone across a field. They see it seconds later. At a concert, the audience experiences the show at different times, depending on their distance. The sense of a shared now disappears. Everyone lives in their own time bubble. You never see yourself as you are, only as you were. This delay could change how we see ourselves and others, making us more self-conscious or forgiving. Even landscapes are seen as they were minutes or hours ago. History becomes a visible, expanding bubble of light. You could outrun the light from an event and watch it unfold again. The past is never truly gone. It lingers, visible to anyone fast enough to catch it. Our sense of time and memory would be forever changed. Einstein's relativity says the speed of light is the same for everyone, no matter how fast you're moving. In a slow light world, this would be obvious in daily life. A car's headlights still move at C, not C plus the car's speed. To keep C constant, the universe warps time and space. Drivers age slower, cars look shorter, relativity's effects would be dramatic and visible. Physics class would be hands-on, just watch traffic for time dilation and length contraction. EOS MC2 would change everything. C is tiny, so converting mass to energy yields little power. Nuclear plants would barely work, if at all. The sun would burn out quickly or shine too dimly for life. The universe's energy budget would shrink. Our world would be dim, cold, and short-lived. The cosmic speed limit shapes everything, from stars to life itself. In a slow-light universe, energy and existence are fundamentally limited. Our technology depends on light speed. Computers, phones, and the internet rely on signals moving at sea. Slow light means slow processors your phone would lag with every tap. The internet would crawl emails could take hours, downloads years. Global communication would collapse into isolated islands. GPS would fail, relativistic delays would make location tracking impossible. Even electricity would be sluggish. Flipping a switch could take seconds to light a bulb. Power grids would destabilize, unable to adjust quickly. Our entire infrastructure would crumble. The modern world would grind to a halt. Life would slow to a pre-electric pace. The speed of light is the backbone of our civilization. Why imagine a slow light universe to appreciate our own? The high speed of light makes our world possible. Instant cause and effect, stable stars, and a vast cosmos. It's the thread that weaves space and time into a dynamic fabric. The constancy of sea anchors reality, even when it seems paradoxical. Our universe is finely tuned for complexity, life, and wonder. By exploring what could be, we see the beauty in what is. We are children of a universe with a very fast sea. Understanding the cosmic speed limit reveals the nature of space, time, and energy. The universe is a grand performance and light sets the tempo. And what a fast, beautiful tempo it is.